Hi everybody, uh, welcome to our 14 minute core class, a uh, really tough class here today, 45 seconds per exercise, 14 exercises, get it sit done in 14 minutes. If you're looking to lose fat and you want that real six pack look, um, then this is the 14 minutes for you. I'm Johnny Wilson from Nottingham Physio, hope you enjoy this class. Okay, so first exercise, we're going to go to the floor, okay, we're going to get our clock on okay and we are doing 45 seconds of supported crunches so hands are on the floor and then heels are off the ground and what we're doing is we're just extending and flexing at the hips and we're going for 45 seconds so tough start to the class like i say we've got 14 exercises here if you get this done two to three times a week then you surely will be making huge strides in terms of your core strength, your mobility, your flexibility, all these really important things that we need to be working on on a daily basis. Good. So you should start to feel a burn already. It's quite a, an introduction into the class, but we don't do anything by house. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, fantastic. First exercise done. Second exercise, what we're going to do is lying down on the floor, chin to chest, hands on the thighs, and you're going to be rolling up and down just like that. Okay, getting ready to go on three, two, one, and away we go. So try not to extend your neck. Try and keep your chin as close to your chest as you possibly can do. Feel that contraction at the top. So you're trying to peel your spine off the floor with each one so you're always trying to get the most bang for your buck of each and every single repetition so we're just rolling that back off the ground and getting that crunch in really working those rectus abdominis muscles so the muscles that are at the front of your your body five four three two and one oh, yeah, yeah. okay Two exercises done. Exercise number three is going to be bicycles. Again, chin is going to be chest to chest, okay, eyes to belly button, and one leg is getting out of the way for the opposite elbow to go to it. Okay, ready, set, and let's go. Good. Big shout out to everybody who's joining here live today. Uh, thank you guys for all your support. Really looking forward to today's 14 minute core class, a very tough class. Uh, one of the people here today, Ruth, I don't think she's ever missed a class and I'd say about maybe four years. So fantastic, Ruth. That consistency certainly is going to pay off. I can tell you now, I'm feeling my abs right now, that's for sure. Last 10 seconds of these. Good, keep pushing it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Three exercises done. Next one is going to be where we're going to be bringing the leg all the way up to the top as straight as you can, and it's opposite hand to opposite leg. Okay, getting ready to go in three, two, one, and go. Opposite hand to opposite leg. Again, if you wanted to make this tougher, you could do both legs at the same time. I think it's tough enough as, as it is. So you're trying to keep the knee as straight as you can, and then you're bringing that hand up and over and across. And then you're feeling those abs really starting to work. <sighs> to be fair, mine were working off the first exercise. <sighs> opposite hand to opposite leg. 15 seconds to go. Feel that crunch. <sighs> Good. Keep it going. <sighs> That's five. <sighs> Three. Two and one. Okay, fantastic. All right. Next exercise is going to be heel taps. Okay. So I'm going to be looking at my lateral, uh, my lateral core musculature, internal external obliques, and I'm just going across like that. Three, two, and go. Again, chin to chest, eyes to belly button, and you're flexing down to the side. You're reaching down to the right side. Then you're reaching down to the left side. Your heels are off the floor if you can. And you'll feel your oblique muscles, so the muscles on the sides of your, your core, of your belly, 
of your tummy really starting to engage now of course you're going to feel the front muscles as well because they're working the whole way through as well so they're not switching off they are keeping going good come on five seconds five four three two and one okay next exercise is what i like to call windscreen wipers okay so hands are out like that and then we're rotating down and around to each side okay ready to go in five seconds so you can put your hands out nice and wide like that and that gives you a little bit of stability head goes on the floor and then you're rotating around to each side again it's good mobility exercise as well but there's a lot of core strength needed to pull up the weight of your legs so again you're rotating down to each side how many times you hear people about their low back pain i just did a little movement i just bent over to pick something up i was taking some shopping out of the back of the car and I think I just moved and rotated funny. Rotation is a normal movement and it's something that we need to work on and not be afraid of. But we need to build up that strength in it as well. And to do that, we need to bring rotational exercises into our core program, just like this one. And the bicycles. Three, two, and one. Okay, from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the knees bent and we're gonna be touching the inside of the ankles today, okay? So we're touching the inside of the ankles, okay? Ready, legs wide apart, and then just like that, touching the inside of the ankles. So I'm spreading my knees apart, and I'm going opposite, hand to opposite inside of the ankle. And again, I've got my chin to my chest, my eyes to my belly button, and I'm reaching down, and I'm touching the inside of my ankles. Really functional as well when you think about putting on your socks. I hurt my shoulder a couple of weeks ago. Couldn't put my socks on. Oh my God. Couldn't take off around my shirt either. Couldn't wash myself. Couldn't brush my teeth with my left hand. I'm left-handed, by the way. Um, you know, injury can have a huge effect on you. Five, four, three, two, and one. But I'm a pretty resilient guy. Okay, next one, dead bugs. And I, I had a good grade three um, separation of my AC joint. And I like to say I'm nearly back to full fitness now. So we're going back like that, hands over the head. Use a weight if you can. And we're up and down. Try not to arch your back. Try and keep good control of your tummy muscles. So you're trying to keep that core in a very neutral, controlled position, okay? And all that should be extending or moving, I should say, should be your arms up and down. I'm losing it, using a lightweight here today, uh, basically because this is the first time I'm doing it since my shoulder injury, um, but no issues with it at the moment. Anyway, that's for sure. Good, keep it going. 30 seconds of this one gone already. You feel that real kind of stretch on the front of your tummy muscles. That's good. Try not to arch your back at the end. As your arms are going over, you'll want to arch your back, but you don't want to do that. Five, four, three, two and one aye, aye, aye. okay so from there what we're going to do is swimmers okay so i normally put my hands under my hips like that and then we're going up and down like that for 45 seconds let's go doing great guys oh my god this is a tough one so it's a little scissor kick okay so right leg left leg up and down just like that oh my should have put this one a bit earlier into the program. <gasps> Keep it going, come on. 30 gone, 15 to go. <sighs> five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my God. Next exercise, Russian twists. So I'm set up like this, okay? I am heels are off the floor like that and we're just going to be going each side like that for 45 seconds okay getting ready to go on three two and go you can use a weight as well it's tough enough for me at the moment because i am definitely feeling it today after this exercise we're going on our front aye, aye, aye. come on stay with it 15 gone 20 gone I know it's tough when I'm starting to 
count them and I have to take little breaks in between. 30 seconds gone. Then grab off that 15 second break in between exercise. Last 10 seconds. Come on. That's five. Count me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. We're going on our front and we're doing back extensions, okay? So, line on your front, knees up, got knees bent, hands on the side of the head, and we're just raising your chest off the floor. Let's go. 45 seconds. The core includes all the muscles at the front, all the muscles at the side, all the muscles that attach to your diaphragm at the top, that's the roof, and all the muscles around your glutes and around your pelvic area, because that's the floor. So we've got the back, all these paraspinal muscles that we've got to work as well. Really important. These are called our anti-gravity muscles, or our posture muscles. So we've always got to be working on these back extensions. Really good if you're suffering from low back pain as well. I like to call them skydivers. Last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're nearly 11 minutes into this class, guys. Okay. Next exercise is going to be the plank, okay? So you can do it as an elbow plank or as a tall plank, whichever you prefer. We're getting ready to go in three, two, one. So we're just going to hold that statically for 45 seconds if you can. Try and make sure that your bum is not up in the air and that you're as straight as you can, straight like a pencil. Good. Ten days ago, I had no chance of doing a plank. But again, every day, it's been every day, you know, touching on rehab for this AC joint. And I'm delighted to say, like, nearly everything is back in terms of movement, in terms of strength, you know, pain levels are down. Everything's going really well. So I'm quite happy with the protocol that I've built for an ACJ rehabilitation. Maybe I should put it on YouTube. Three, two, one, time. Okay. Next exercise. We are nearly there, guys, okay? We are doing mountain climbers, okay? You can do these on a chair. You can do them against the wall, whichever you want. We're going to be just like that, okay? Arms straight up. Let's go. 45 seconds. Mountain climbers. Again, makes it a little bit easier. If you do them on a, an inclined surface or a raised surface, you might do them on the chair or up against the wall, like marching. But the idea is that we get them done. After this exercise... We've got one exercise to do, and then we have done 14 minutes of absolute core work. Last exercise is going to be in standing, by the way, guys, okay? Do it. Drive the knee straight up. Try and keep the foot off the floor. Reach back, keeping the body in a nice, straight, firm position. Hi, hi, hi. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, my God. Last exercise, guys. Okay, into standing. We're gonna do squat to knee drive, okay? 45 seconds, and that's our 14 minute class gone. Three, two, one. Squat, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Just like that, good. Definitely one of the toughest core classes that I've ever done myself, because I am feeling it on the core. This is a great one to get those lower ab muscles going as well. Builds, burns a bit of calories as well. Good. So you try and bring that knee up and across. Great for balance as well. Great for leg work. So it's an overall banger of an exercise. Good. Old school banger as they say. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Well done, guys. That is a 14-minute core class. High-intensity interval training. Focus on developing your core strength, stability, and mobility. Hope you've really enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please hit the subscribe button and notifications button. And uh, check out the other videos for more uh, tips on improving your health and longevity and your strength and fitness and function. This is Johnny Wilson, Nottingham Physio, signing out.